All right, guys, my name is Shervin. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Qtrade Direct Investing. Now, Qtrade is one of the most popular brokerages in Canada. It's a great platform for beginner investors as it is easy to use and it offers a wide variety of different account types and investment options. And of course, in today's video, we're going to take a closer look and see how it compares against other brokerages available in Canada. And of course, we'll see exactly how Qtrade works, why it is one of the best options out there and how you can start investing with the platform today. But before we get into it, if you are new to my channel and you enjoy this video, make sure to smash the subscribe button down below and join the community. I make new videos about personal finance and investing on a regular basis. And by subscribing to the channel, you get to see all my new videos right as they come out. Also, if you enjoyed the video and want to support me even more, then do me a favor and smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. But all right, with all that said, let's get right into it. Now, as we mentioned before, Qtrade offers a wide variety of different account types, such as the TFSA, the RRSP, the RRIF, the RESP, Margin, Cash, and a bunch more like Lira, USD, and LRIF. Now, Qtrade also has lower brokerage fees compared to any of the bank brokerages such as TD Direct Investing or CIBC Investors Edge. Now, for any equity purchases, the brokerage fee is $875. For options, it's $875 plus $125. But, and this is the best part, for over 100 specified ETFs, there are no brokerage fees whatsoever. Now, just to clarify, these ETFs will cost you nothing to buy or sell on the platform. Now, this is where Qtrade Direct Investing stands out as the best investment option out there, at least for me. Because you guys know, I love investing into ETFs and I highly believe in just investing into broad index fund ETFs and just holding for the long term. That's exactly how I've always invested and what I recommend for everyone else. And one of the things that I always loved about Quest Trade for a long time was that it was free to buy ETFs on that platform. But it is not free to sell ETFs on Quest Trade. It actually costs you the standard brokerage fee. So for someone like me who is an avid ETF investor, it's like Qtrade has taken something really nice from Quest Trade and has made it even better. Now, if you're someone who's interested in investing into mutual funds, again, it'll cost you $875 in the brokerage fee. But that said, most of the time, mutual funds also have an ETF version available to purchase. And if that ETF is on the no fee list on Qtrade, you could just invest into that thing without having to pay any fees. Now, another interesting thing about Qtrade is that if you hold at least $500,000 in your account, or if you make at least 150 trades per quarter, then even those $875 fees will be lowered to a lower amount. Also, if you're a young investor between the ages of 18 and 30, your fee will be lowered to 775 instead of 875. Now, of course, if you're investing into ETFs for free like I am, then this doesn't matter, but I just thought I'd mention it just so you guys know about this. Now, another great thing about the platform is that it has no minimum balance requirements, unlike a bunch of other direct investing platforms such as Questrade. With Questrade in particular, when you first sign up, you have to deposit at least $1,000 from the get-go. Whereas with Qtrade, you can start with whatever amount is right for you. So again, particularly for the younger investors out there, you might just be better off going with this one because it offers you that flexibility. Now, Qtrade does have a $25 quarterly admin fee, but there are a number of ways to waive that fee. In fact, according to Qtrade themselves, most customers end up waiving this fee by just doing one of the following. Now, if you've just opened your account in the past quarter, you don't have to pay the fee. If you have $25,000 or more in assets in your account, you don't have to pay the fee. If you've completed at least two commission trades in the past quarter or at least eight commission trades in the past year, the fee will be waived. If you've set up a recurring deposit of at least $100 a month into your account, the fee will be waived. And of course, if you're between the ages of 18 and 30, the fee will be waived for you automatically. So basically, just to recap all of that, if you are under the age of 30, you will not be charged this fee. And if you are above the age of 30, all you need to do to avoid the fee is to set up a recurring deposit into your account of at least $100 a month, which let's face it is a very low and reasonable amount and is actually a very good way to make sure you're always contributing to your investment accounts. So even though that $25 quarterly fee looks kind of annoying at first glance, it's actually very easy to waive. But now by far the best thing about Qtrade is their customer service. Now a bunch of other platforms, particularly Questrade, are notorious for not having great customer service. Now as someone who's used Questrade for a long time, I can tell you that their customer service has gotten a little bit better over the past couple of years, but they still have a lot of room for improvement and hopefully they get around to that in the near future. 
But at least as of right now, according to almost every website on the internet, Qtrade has by far the best customer service out of any direct investing platform available in Canada. And as well as that, they're recognized as one of the top Canadian brokers as far as all the tools that they offer you for market research. Qtrade also charges no ECN fees, which are basically electronic fees. Unlike other platforms such as Questrade, which charge them for specific trades. Also, for those of you who are wondering if Qtrade is safe, I can tell you it is a CIPF member, so there's nothing to worry about. Now, CIPF, for those of you who don't know, is the Canadian Investor Protection Fund. And being a CIPF member means that your deposits are insured up to a million dollars per account. So that if let's say Qtrade goes bankrupt tomorrow for whatever reason, CIPF will still return all your deposits up to a million dollars per account. So unless if you're investing into the millions of dollars, you have nothing to worry about with Qtrade. Now currently there's a sign up bonus where you get $50 for every new Qtrade account that you open and fund up to three accounts and $150. Now if you're interested in opening a Qtrade account, all you need to do to get this offer is to use my referral link down below in the description. It'll take you right to the application and the offer and of course you'd also also be supporting the channel in the meantime which I always appreciate. Now this specific offer expires on June 30th but if you're watching in the future there will be more similar offers to come so just check the description to see what the current offer is I will update it as new offers come along. But now that's about it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed that if you haven't done so already make sure to smash the subscribe button down below and join the community feel free to follow me on social media i'm on twitter and instagram at shervin house if you have any questions about any of the stuff that we talked about in this video make sure to let me know in the comments down below i always respond to every question that comes in and now with all that said thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video cheers